Hi, this is Pastor Bob. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I'm sure there's many people that are thinking, Pastor, I, I hear so much bad news. I sure wish uh, I could hear some good news. I wish there was something I could cheer about. Well, you know, today I want to start this week off by giving you some things that we can cheer about. First of all, we can cheer about the fact that God has overcome the world. In John 16, it says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in, that in me ye shall have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Did you hear that? Be of good cheer in spite of the fact that we're going to have trials and testings and tribulation. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. In 1 John 5, 4, it says, And whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And then in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4, it says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. A man by the name of E.M. Bartlett wrote a song that I'm sure you're familiar with, Victory in Jesus. I heard an old, old story how a Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. O oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. So there's something to cheer about. The Lord has overcome the world. And then secondly, I want to share another thing that we can cheer about, and that is that God has forgiven us of our sins. In Matthew 9, 2, it says, And behold, they brought him or they brought to him Jesus. This was a man that was sick of the palsy. They brought him to Jesus, who was lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. There we see it again. Be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven thee. Oh, listen, if our sins have been forgiven today, we definitely have something to cheer about. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 says, Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And then a very favorite verse of mine is 1 John 1, 9. That said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Songwriter wrote, gone, 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 gone. Yes, my sins are gone. Now my soul is set free, and in my heart's a song. Buried in the deepest sea, yes, that's good enough for me. Praise God, my sins are gone. I shall live eternally. Praise God. We've got a couple things to hear about already. First of all, the Lord's overcome the world. Our sins can be forgiven. And I trust that yours is forgiven today, that you have called upon Christ and uh, have received him as your Savior. But then there's something else that we can cheer about, and that is that God is with us. In Matthew chapter 14, it says in verse 22, <clears throat> excuse me, and straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him onto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. <clears throat> and when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. And the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying in a spirit, and they cried out for fear. And straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, 
Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. So there's a third thing we can cheer about, and that is that the Lord is with us. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. You know, God is not only with us in the storms of life, but he'll even also be with us as we walk through the shadow of death. In Psalm 23, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. God will be with us, even if we have tribulation, even if we die. Not just in this life, not just in death, but God will be with us for all eternity. Hebrews 13, 5, a very favorite verse of many, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. No wonder we love to sing, and I love to sing the song, God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. I love Him so, I love Him so, I love Him so. He's so good to me. And I like to add a little verse to all of that that says, He's coming soon. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. He's so good to me. Oh, listen, my friend, we've got some things to cheer about. I trust God will not only give you a good day, but a good week as we try to serve the Lord and to please Him. Thank you again for listening today. God bless you, and have a great day.